else you know, I live in New York City, where unless you live very far out into the outer boroughs, people usually take the train, the subway to work, uh, take the subway pretty much everywhere, and have no cars. We also walk a lot. And today I want to briefly talk about what it's like to rely on public transport to get places. Today was a normal Tuesday for me, except that I had an extra meeting. On Tuesdays, I usually go to campus for a workshop. This morning, I got dressed, I got ready to go, I went down to the station and I waited for a while. The train took a long time to come. When it came, I got on the train, we went one stop, and then we all had to get off the train. The train was out of service for some repairs that needed to be done immediately. When we got off the train, we were told to wait for the next train, the same line of train that's coming right after. And about two minutes later, an announcement was made that no trains were running in neither direction due to a disruption in signal a few stops further. And so I couldn't get into town, by which I mean into Manhattan, I live in Brooklyn. I had to turn around and walk back home the distance of one station. If I didn't have to be somewhere, that wouldn't be such a big deal that if I was just going for pleasure, but I was actually going for work. And I had a meeting that I had to reschedule because I couldn't make it. And the subway is like, I guess, a really horrible, maybe not horrible, but a really like troubled child that you love dearly, but it never ceases to give you headaches and sometimes disappoint. And today was one of those days. I had every intention of actually going to work and then I couldn't, but that was just as well. Because today I was expecting the delivery of one of two things I bought on Black Friday and I am so very excited about it. And honestly, I didn't want to have to wait all day to come home and open it. And here it is. So for this episode of Vlogmas, we're going to do an unboxing. Are you ready? If I can get it out of this box. Ta da! My friends, this is a Juan Tech Weevil S. It is a gimbal. And I have had many gimbals, by which I mean I have tried many gimbals, including the previous version of this, which was the Weevil Lab. And, uh, I think this is gonna be much better. It has been improved and quite frankly, I'm very excited to give it a try. But you know, this has just one box open. There's another box to open here. And these are always the tricky ones. I swear that they make these boxes June proof. <laughs> now, video is something that I've become interested in doing in the last few years. Not just uh, vlogging type videos, but um, you know, like more cinematic style videos. And I think I really became interested in making videos when I started flying drones. To me, a drone has always been um, a camera in the sky. Like I know people who fly quadcopters for fun that the actual flying is what they enjoy. But for me, it is the photography. And with the photography came the video. And I find aerial video to be very, very, um, just a fascinating thing. But of course you gotta combine it with like land terrestrial stuff. And for yesterday's Vlogmas, if you go back and watch it, or if you haven't watched it, the last bit, um, 
with the snow falling it's just an attempt at making something video ish now i'm much better at photography because i've been doing it for 20 years and i haven't really been doing video that long and quite frankly i find the whole processing of video very intimidating because i'm not very good at it so the hope with all that is to say the hope with the gimbals is that they will make uh making videos moving easier because even though my camera so i have i have multiple setups but the one that i use for video which is the one i'm shooting on right now has excellent built-in image stabilization there's always you know it's not 100 percent perfect so i'm hoping that by combining the in-camera stabilization with the gimbal i'm gonna get better results and gimbals are hard to learn to use and i have returned all the other ones i've tried so i am hopeful that this will be the one that sticks and right from the get-go i will say that this packaging here is not as good as it was in the Weville lab which if i remember correctly it had it was like a suitcase type thing this is just foam it's just packaging it is not a carrying case and i think i may have it the wrong way here yes there we go so here we go and there is well there's the batteries of course and then all of the things that you need and this is not if you're not used to seeing them both this is not gonna look like anything at the moment it has to be fully set up and whatnot but here it is and i am going to set it up and I'm going to try to run a few things and see what my first impressions are. But so far, I am very excited. <laughs> but of course, before I do any of the trying of the gimbal, I have to charge my batteries, which takes a long time. And considering it's almost 2.35, I may lose the light by then. So maybe I will end this episode here and I'll show you some of the footage, hopefully, in a subsequent episode of Lamas. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!